Yo tout le monde, c'est Raziel, j'espère que vous allez bien et on se retrouve pour la partie 3 de Game of Thrones, euh, bah, toujours à l'épisode 1. Et, euh, et voilà, on se retrouve aujourd'hui, ça me fait vraiment plaisir de faire cette aventure avec vous. Euh, J'essaye de varier le contenu sur la chaîne et vous proposer du contenu de qualité, enfin du moins avec euh, ce que je peux faire et, et mes moyens. Du coup voilà, euh, la dernière fois ce qui s'était passé dans l'épisode c'est qu'il euh, y avait euh, Gareth qui avait été envoyé au mur. Ça c'était dans l'épisode 1. Euh, Mira avait demandé de l'aide à, euh, à euh, la reine, euh, enfin à la reine, à la future reine, à Marjorie euh, pour, euh, pour aider sa famille, euh, donc euh, les forestiers. Et euh, Ramsey euh, devait euh, arriver dans la semaine euh, pour euh, me punir ou pour euh, bref, enfin, bref, faire la loi parce qu'on n'est pas encore un de ces bannerets. Euh, justement où on habite donc euh, Iron Ross qui est en français le monde de fer. Et euh, on devait choisir aussi, euh, enfin, maintenant celui qui a la maison c'est Ethan, un jeune lord maintenant, un jeune seigneur. Et on devait choisir entre euh, deux personnages euh, qui, d'après moi, sont excellents tous les deux euh, pour devenir la sentinelle. La sentinelle qui donne beaucoup plus de droits, c'est un peu le bras droit du, euh, du, du seigneur de la maison. C'est un peu comme ça qu'on voit. Donc voilà, et c'est parti, on s'était laissé là. Et je démarre pas au menu principal euh, du fait qu'il n'y a pas eu de mise à... Enfin, il n'y a pas eu de... Il euh, n'y a pas eu de sauvegarde, donc euh, je n'avais pas envie de reprendre tous les dialogues et de faire une coupure euh, pour rien. Donc voilà, je vous prends directement après euh, le tournage de l'épisode 2. Voilà, on démarre. Désolé pour toutes ces explications qui étaient assez longues. Donc, on va aller un petit peu... Euh, je ne vais pas parler au maître. Euh, je vais... Non, on va pas rentrer dans la tour. On va aller parler... Euh, non, on va d'abord aller parler avec, euh, avec ma sœur, Talia. Talia. Ah, je peux pas parler encore avec. Par contre, je peux déjà parler avec Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But Where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Il n'y a pas de souci. Tu sais ça juste aussi bien. Elle est ma mère. Bien sûr, je serai gentil. Je sais que tu seras. Tu es un bon cœur, mon Seigneur. C'est ta force de force. Mais mes mères ne sont pas les seules que j'ai face. Mes gens sont peur aussi. Je lui ai dit que je dois choisir une sentinelle. Si je peux être si bold, Sir Royland est le homme pour le job. Il serait une bonne choix. Et je le crois. Pourquoi Sir Royland We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me... Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. 
He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Ok. On va par là sur Royland. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know dogs can hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Du coup, on va aller par là à Duncan. Euh... Ouais. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Mm. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Donc je pense que je vais prendre Duncan comme euh, comme euh, comme sentinelle. Après c'est que mon choix. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. 
The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. And there we are. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <coughs> Là j'hésite par contre, parce que nous nous battrons, je vais avec Sir Roiland et j'ai pas envie. Euh, la diplomatie, ben je sais pas si ça fonctionne vraiment. Et nous marchanderons. Euh, nous aurons recours à la diplomatie. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. And j'espère. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Je sais pas si c'est les bons choix que j'ai fait, mais il y en a pas vraiment de bons, donc. Many years. Do not forget that. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? 
how he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you <laughs> never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Donjon Rouge pour Réal. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever. Oh, sa tête, ça s'est mal passé avec le roi. Ah, forcément. Ah, le roi Geoffrey. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. What can I do better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. 
I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before, about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. C'était spécial. Where's Sir Royland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. <coughs> Je pense aussi. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Ramsey Snow. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of the... <laughs> Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Ah, you, the little lord. Lord Whitehall told me you were young. This. Look at you. <laughs> A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. <laughs> Look at that. War Forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. Chamber pots. I expect <laughs> you to do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. 
You can't trust Earth Forester. They murdered our men. It was Earth Forester Squire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. So I've come up with a tout. solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twin. Well, like the Queen, brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, Ethan! No! What are you doing? But I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! No! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? Oh, c'est drama. Wow. Les foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Boom. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly. You brought this on yourself. Stop! 
Poids, 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 Mon Dieu, cet épisode. Cet épisode. Ethan the Brave. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will leave this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Que de drama. Euh, sérieusement, euh, ce premier épisode, euh, j'ai un peu fait abstraction, j'ai une très bonne mémoire, mais j'ai un peu fait abstraction de tout ce que je connaissais déjà vis-à-vis -vis de l'histoire, et à chaque fois, ça me choque. Euh, comment on peut être à chaque fois... Euh, dérouté par ce qui se passe euh, dans l'histoire waouh donc là c'est nos choix euh, vous et 65,8% de rester avec Bowen vous et 62,4% avez juré fidélité au roi vous et 35,4% avez envoyé Eric au mur euh, vous et 69,1% avez choisi Duncan comme sentinelle et vous et 50,1% re, avez reçu Ramsey dans le grand hall. Euh, donc voilà, voilà. Que dire dans cet épisode ben, On sait que Gareth euh, est toujours en chemin vers le mur. Euh, le ferrugier a été divisé en deux. Euh, la moitié pour les, les White Hills, de ce qui nous appartenait déjà. Et la moitié pour nous. Sachant que là, il n'y a plus personne euh, qui, peut, qui, peut être, euh, qui peut diriger la maison. Euh, pour le moment, on ne sait pas encore qui va être le nouveau Lord, vu que euh, aussi courte fut ce, le, le, le règne de, du, du nouveau seigneur, donc Ethan. Il est mort, euh, il est mort en sauvant sa sœur. Parce que ceux qui ont vu la série euh, savaient comme moi que... Enfin, vous, le, vous le savez, que, que, que Ramsey ne prend pas soin de ses femmes. Et que, et que j'avais pas envie que ma soeur souffre, du coup je lui ai attrapé la main, et, euh, et, et il l'a tué. Euh, <coughs> que de drama, franchement, euh, c'est vraiment un épisode de Game of Thrones, un peu comme, euh, pas, pas comme, bah, un peu comme dans la série, quoi. Tout le monde, euh, il y a beaucoup de drama, il y a beaucoup de gens qui meurent, et euh, subitement, et on s'y attend même pas, quoi. les décisions que tu prends, euh, parfois tu as l'impression que c'est le bon, et en fait c'est le mauvais choix, enfin c'est le mauvais choix, non et enfin bref, c'est ça qui est la magie du Telltale aussi, c'est que l'histoire change en fonction de, de, ce que, de ce que vous faites. Du coup voilà, du coup les amis, euh, on va se laisser ici et je vous dis à très bientôt pour la suite des aventures et l'épisode 2 cette fois de cette aventure. Il y a 6 épisodes en tout et j'espère vous retrouver bientôt. Allez salut <musique>